Hey guys, welcome back for another tutorial. Today we'll be making an elf dress. I've already put on all of my tulle. I did two layers of green and I did two strips of tulle per hole, so it's technically like four layers. And then this third row I did in red, one strip of tulle per hole, and I cut it to be half the length of the green tulle. And of course I'm not going to waste any tools so I didn't put the red on and then cut it in half. I actually cut my strips of tool half the length that I had cut them for the green. So I'm going to be sectioning these uh, red pieces off and I'm using these little rubber hair ties. Um, they're also used for those loop like um, rubber band loop bracelets but I'm just I have um, some black rubber bands and I'm going to be doing seven rows at a time and I'm starting from the front of the dress in the center so that I can work my way to the back um, to make sure that at least the front sections have the same equal amount of seven row seven rows in that section so I have my seven rows and I'm going to take one of these little rubber bands and I'm going to tie it off at the end. And I'm just going to do two times around with that little hair tie. And then I'm going to roll it down to get it closer towards the bottom of that section. And then you want to continue to section off the red pieces of tulle. So then I'm going to do seven rows on the left, tie that off, and then seven rows on the right, tie that off. Um, this dress has 47 holes all the way around, so it ended up being the back two sections of red had six um, rows of tulle instead of seven, but it was still even, um, and everything worked out. Okay, so I have all of my red sections tied off, and I know it looks funny, but we're going to dress these up with these cute little jingle bells. So I have these little jingle bells here with some red sparkly 3 8 inch ribbon that I've tied them on with, and I will show you how I attach these to make sure that they're secure and they're not going to be falling off while your little one is playing. So I grabbed a pack of these bells from Michael's um, and they're just little medium sized jingle bells. It came in a pack of 38 and I believe this pack was four or five dollars. Um, so you can make a lot of dresses and skirts with this. And I have this 3 8 inch red glitter ribbon which I have also purchased from Michael's but I got this maybe about a year ago so I don't know if they still have this exact one but I would think so. Um, but any little red ribbon will do. I'm going to fold one end of my ribbon in half so that I can get it through easier on the bell. And then I'm just going to push that through and make the ends of my ribbon even so that the bell is in the middle. And then you'll want to heat seal the ends of your ribbon. And I'm going to use hot glue on the inside of that bell. So the part that's going to be facing down onto that tool section. So I just put some hot glue right there. Being very careful, press that down and hold it until the glue is dry. And um, I'm actually wearing that band-aid on my thumb because I did burn off a pretty huge chunk of my skin. And it sucks because that's the hand that I used to cut with with scissors and it's right on that burn spot. Um, but anyways, I have this glued down and then I'm going to tie my ribbon in the back in a double knot. And then just pull that tight and add those jingle bells um, to each of the red sections. For our next step, we're going to be creating the bodice for the front of the dress. I've already cut some of this green, um, emerald green glitter foam sheet. I've already cut it to the width that I need for my dress um, and the height as well. So I'm going to fold this in half and I want to do a little bit of a heart shaped neckline. So just taking um, a sharpie or you can use a pencil or a pen that you can see. 
I'm going to draw a little curve. So starting from the non-folded edge, I'm going downwards in a diagonal line to the folded edge. And then you just want to cut that and I'm going to cut inside of my my line so that I don't have any of that Sharpie showing. And then just cut that out. And when you open it up, you have a little bit of a heart-shaped neckline. Now you can cut it deeper if you want it more curved, but I wanted mine just a little bit. Using a red glitter foam craft sheet, um, this one has an adhesive back but makes no difference, I cut out two connected triangles for the little elf spike detail at the top. Um, these measure at five inches across. So five inches across, the outer line is two and a half inches, and then inside is two inches. Um, so I just drew that out and cut out two of those, which totals four triangles. Now I'm just peeling off the back of this adhesive sheet, and I'm going to glue this down just above the neckline so that we can cut it to be even with that neckline. I'm going to use my hot glue gun, even though this does have an adhesive on the back, um, you want to make sure that it's really secure, so I still use hot glue on top of that. And then I'm just gluing the bottom portion of that. Take your piece and glue it down just a little bit above the neckline and then we're going to trim that off from the back. I'm doing the same thing to the other side, just peel off the backing and glue down to the right side starting from the outer corner edge. We're going to leave an open gap in the center of this bodice piece. So I've glued that down here and now that I have both of my sides glued down, I'm going to flip it over to the back and just use my scissors to trim off those red edges. I like to do this um, just because it makes it even with the neckline shape that I've created um, and doesn't take a lot of guesswork. So I usually will just do straight lines and then glue it just above the neckline and trim. The next detail that we'll be adding is this gold rickrack trim. I purchased this from Hobby Lobby. It's in the ribbon section. And I'm just going to glue this down both sides as well as across the bottom. So to start, I'm going to heat seal one of my ends. Now be careful with this rickrack trim. Um, it usually will like catch fire if you keep it on there too long. But you just want to seal the edge. Then take the glue gun, and I like to follow the shape of the rickrack trim so that no glue comes out of the sides. And I'm going to glue this down on one edge, just a little inside, leaving about a centimeter of space on the edge there. So I've glued down my rickrack trim around all of my edges except for at the top. Now I'm going to be adding some little glitter gold buttons. I actually just used a gold glitter cardstock paper, a really thick cardstock. Um, I got this at Michael's a while ago. And I just used my one inch circle hole punch and cut out or punched out three circles for my buttons. And then I'm trying to decide if I wanna add those little jingle bells on each of the buttons. Um, but I actually just decided that I would add it to the top one, which you will see in just a moment. So I'm gluing down my first gold circle right in the center of the top there. And then I will glue down the last button. So just making sure that's even with the center. That's where I want my buttons to end. And then I will glue this third one right in the middle of those two circles. So here's where I'll decide um, if I want to do a little jingle bell on each of the buttons. So I'm just placing them there to see how I want to go about this. 
Um, so there you can see what it looks like with all three, but I actually just decided to do the top one. Back over to our dress, I have attached some green satin ribbon straps and I'm going to decorate these a bit. I got this red ruffle ribbon from Hobby Lobby. I absolutely love this ribbon. So whenever it's on sale, every other week it's 50% off. Um, I like to stock up on different colors. So I have this ruffle ribbon here and I just did um, a one and a half inch green satin ribbon for the straps. I'm going to be gluing this along the edge of this ribbon strap here so it's going to make it more of a, of a thick sleeve as opposed to just like a spaghetti strap. So I cut a strip of that red ribbon just long enough to go from the front down the back of the shoulder. I don't want it to be the entire length of that strap. And I'm going to glue over one of the edges. Actually, you're going to end up gluing over both of your edges so that it gives a clean finish on the end there. So I'm just folding over a little bit and then taking my glue gun I'm going to glue along one edge of this red ribbon. And I'm just using the end of that ruffle as a guide so I have a straight line of glue. And then flipping the strap over you're going to glue it down to the inside of the strap and just glue that down all the way to the end of the red ribbon. I quickly wanted to point out a difference. In the beginning of this video, my green tool looked brighter, and that's because it was. Oftentimes when you order tool, they are dyed in different lots, so sometimes the green will come out darker or brighter than another roll, and I used two different rolls on this dress, so I switched it so that the, bright, the brighter green was underneath and the darker green was on top so that it would match the glitter craft sheet that I'm using for the bodice. Just a little tip there, if you have different colored tool, make it work um, best for you. And actually, whenever you put a brighter color underneath, it does make the overall color pop. So here I just added a gold rickrack trim in between the red and the green ribbon to add another little decorative feature and to clean up that edge. Now I'm going to be adding our bodice to the front. I cut out a green felt sheet in the same exact shape and size of the decorative bodice piece and I've placed that on the inside of my crochet top here. Now I want to help this heart shape along and so I'm just taking a piece of embroidery um, thread here or crochet thread and I'm just going to tie it in the middle so that it brings the center down. So I'm just putting my string in through one of the holes down the center of the dress pretty far down about two inches down and then just tie this in a knot to bring it in and here's what it looks like before we add that decorative bodice on top so I've just brought down the center to match the shape of the glitter piece so right here I'm just lining it up on the edges to make sure it matches with the felt that I've placed on the inside and um, then I'm going to glue this down just like we do in every other tutorial. For this one, I'm going to start in the middle since it is um, that, that heart-shaped neckline has to be in the center. So I'm going to start gluing from the middle and then work my way towards the left and to the right. So I'm just taking my glue gun here and putting a generous amount of hot glue down the center. And then lining that up with the center of the glitter piece. I'm going to press that down firmly. Once you have that down, then you want to glue on both sides of that. So just put some hot glue down onto your crochet and glue along the edges and secure that down on both sides. I'm going to add another detail here with the gold rickrack trim. So what I've done is I've cut it to be the length of my green tool and then doubled that so that I have two sides to this. And I'm just folding it in half and taking that folded edge, sticking it in one of the crochet holes and coming out of the hole to the right of it. You should still be able to access this little bottom portion of the crochet holes underneath the bodice that you've glued down. And then just pulling that through, I'm going to even out my edges to make sure that I'm tying in the center 
and then tie that in a double knot and tie that gently. You don't want to rip your rick rack trim. It's not like a grow grain ribbon, so it's not as strong as that. So just tie that in a double knot. I want my trim to stay in place, so I'm going to tack it down to these red tool sections here. So I'm just going to use a little bit of hot glue to put some glue along the top section of one of these rick rack trim sides. And I'm just going to gently glue that down to my red section here. And that will ensure that the rick rack trim will stay um, outside of the tool and it will stay in place. So I'm just going to tack it down on both sides. I'm going to show you again here, just taking my glue gun and just gluing a little section of it down. And just tap that down. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the next section over to the right. I'm just going to do two Rick Rack trim strips down the front of the dress. And you are all done. This is the final dress. I love it. I think it's so cute. Um, and it's such a fun and creative way to dress up and um, wear this to any like holiday festivities that you might be going to, family parties. I love the detail in the back and what we did with the straps there. So adding that little ruffle detail really made it more of a sleeve instead of a strap. And then I just tied that as an adjustable strap in the back with a bow. And then you've got all your little gold details here. I am working on another Christmas tutorial to get up for you guys. I'm doing a gingerbread dress with a sewn apron um, and all of that. So make sure to subscribe and like this video. And you don't want to miss out on that next tutorial because, again, it will include a sewn apron. I'll catch you all next time.